Hey kids! So as promised, I'm going to show you the method that I use to fill in bare spots around your lawn. You know, you can also use it to, uh, to cover larger spots too. Um, you know, and it depends on your climate that you're in um, and, and all that. And, you know, you want to do it in a rainy season if you can. Uh, and then I mentioned about the sprayer um, on Tool Tuesday. You know, that's good to kind of dampen things down. Um, but, you know, you, you kind of have to deal with the weather, whatever weather you get. You know, if you get a hard rain, then you might have to back up and kind of put some more uh, peat moss on because you want to keep those seeds covered. So anyway, before I show you how to do that, I do have a dad joke for you. So, you know, unfortunately, I had to let the kid go that I hired to mow my lawn. He just wasn't cutting it. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. So here's another area in my yard. We used to have something here. I removed it and then now I want to get some grass growing here. So start off with raking it, right? I already kind of did a little bit, but yep. Okay. And then we're gonna to add topsoil. big area so probably gonna have to go get another bag but basically we're just gonna spread that around yep I'm gonna go get another bag here's my other bag of a low spot too so I need to fill that in. Okay. Looks good and you just kind of keep it loose for now, okay? Okay. Go ahead and put our seed down. And I just like to do this by hand myself. I like to use blend just to make sure, right? If I'm going to do it, I want it to, I want the grass to grow. It's always worked for me to do that, so. And you just kind of want it where it's just lightly covered like that. And you kind of tamp it down with your hands. Okay. Looking pretty good. And then the last thing is that peat moss. We want to put the peat moss over the top. That's the that's the final ingredient that my my landscaper neighbor showed me because I didn't always have good success with this but if you cover it with the peat moss 
it'll keep that moisture in. Since we added this topsoil too, um, that helps to keep the moisture in too because it's kind of wet itself. But now we're just going to sprinkle that peat moss over the top. fighting a little bit of wind. I was wanting to blow that way. See that just real light. But this keeps the moisture in. And this is in my backyard where my dogs are. So I have this, this um, leftover piece of fence that I have that I'm just going to put around it to keep them from running in here to protect it and we'll keep coming back and checking on this and watch it grow. Okay. Back with my last little bit of peat moss to finish this up. And in the area where I live, in the Pacific Northwest, we get a lot of rain. <laughs> you know, uh, we do have like two months of summer, but uh, April, May is a good time to do this. Um, especially April. I think March, April is the best time. Um, because we get a lot of, you know, April showers bring May flowers. That's very true in Washington. So, um, yeah, so I shouldn't really have to water this because, just because of where I live. You know, you might want to, but just don't, just don't overdo it. You know, you just want to light, lightly water it so that that moisture stays in there. Um, yeah, so, I, and that peat moss will help hold that moisture in. So, like I said, you don't have to water it much. And I'm probably not even going to actually water this because I think we're going to get some rain today. So. so that's about it and we'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to put this, uh, this little wire fence around it. Just something to keep my dogs off it. It doesn't quite go all the way around but hopefully that's a, a deterrent to keep them from, from running in here. <laughs> be best obviously if it went all the way around um, and even if it's sitting on top a little bit I guess it's not that big a deal to, to keep them maybe that's what I'll do kind of put it like that which it shouldn't hurt anything and it should be a deterrent from them coming around here and digging so okay so this has been about two weeks I just wanted to show you what that looks like and see how the peat moss is kind of up a little bit and so what I'm going to do, but you got to be really careful. Normally I just leave this alone. Um, so, but if you want to, um, just remove that. But then just be very gentle with this, right? So that the grass can kind of peek through. You just don't want to dig up those seeds. So be, care be careful if you do this. that peat moss holds that moisture in for you. Okay, so we've got some good some good growth, I think, here. Um, and we'll be able to fill in, too, once we see where all the seeds sprout from. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's been about two weeks um, since I 
since I planted this. I planted it on a Thursday two weeks ago and it's been, uh, today's a Friday. So I um, just wanted to kind of monitor this for you so you can see what we're looking at. And then you know, hopefully in a couple more weeks, it'll grow even taller and we just leave it alone. Don't mess with it, right? Mow the rest of your grass, just leave this alone because you don't want to disturb those seeds, so. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what this looks like now. This has been right about three weeks, okay? Um, and you can see that the, the peat moss is kind of clumpy still, and so you just kind of, you know, brush that in. And uh, so you can see that there's still some bare spots. So what I would do now um, is I'll sprinkle a little more seed. You can even see some of the seed is exposed. I think maybe you can see that. If not, there's some seed that's still exposed. So I'll just put a little more peat moss over the top of that and then hopefully those will sprout. But like on these outside edges over here where um, it doesn't look like things are sprouting, I'll just kind of patch that in too um, with some more seed and then um, a little more peat moss on top. So, so remember the steps are, just to recap, you want to kind of break up the ground underneath, then you want to put down um, some topsoil and then you put the seeds down Okay, and then you kind of tamp them in and, and brush that over good so that they're seeded in there, right? Um, and then you put the peat moss, just real fine layer of peat moss. And then you use that, um, that sprayer that I showed you uh, so that it doesn't disturb it. You know, you might, I live in a fairly mild climate. We haven't had a whole lot of rain um, like we normally <laughs> would this time of year. For some reason we haven't. Um, so, uh, you know, if you can, that'd be the ideal situation where you kind of, you know, baby it a little bit, where you use that sprayer nice and easy, and then you come the next day and you see that some of the seeds are exposed, and then you go ahead and put a little more peat moss on it. Um, yeah, and you go from there. You know, so if, if you get a hard rain, all you got to do is just kind of come back out and then just cover it back up with the peat moss, because if those seeds are exposed, they're not going to they're not going to grow. So you got to make sure that they're covered so they can germinate. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.